Millions of Americans deal with feelings of anxiety or panic attacks on a daily basis. We have a few tips. They won't necessarily prevent these feelings from happening altogether, but they may just help reduce some of the symptoms. And Dr. Botcher, you have a first tip for us. Yeah, and I actually even have a prop here. So this is ice. And so one way, if you're feeling incredibly anxious, is just to grab ice because it distracts you. It'll take your focus away from whatever pain or anxiety you're feeling. And the idea is it actually activates something called your parasympathetic nervous system. What that means is it's the response we all have to rest and digest. So it slows your heart rate. It kind of calms you down. Interestingly, increases your intestinal <laughs> activity vis-a-vis -vis <laughs> our earlier segment. None for you. And uh, None. maybe even relaxes those sphincter muscles, Travis. So, there you Gotta go. go. <laughs> but I love that. Also, get moving. You know what? You get all that adrenaline going, and it can leave you feeling a bit anxious. Going even for a 10-minute walk, especially if you can get outside. You can use up some of that excess energy. People go outside just to take a few moments to calm yourself down. And what's cool is those who regularly exercise have 20% decrease in anxiety symptoms. And it doesn't have to, you don't have to run a marathon. It's literally the act of moving can play a big role. Yeah, and I have one more tip. You can use comfort items like a weighted blanket. When you do something like that, it provides deep pressure stimulation and it feels like a firm hug or a swaddle. And then that can have a positive impact on your mood and just make you feel better overall.